Right now, we're seeing more children、uh, getting sick with COVID than we had previously. And that appears to be because the,、uh, the, the Delta variant that's circulating in the community now is much more transmissible.、Um, so, as we as a society have opened up uh,、um, and people are not wearing masks as much, when you put that together with a more transmissible virus, more and more people are getting sick,、uh, including children. In terms of what vaccines are, are available to children right now,、uh, there's really just one product on the market, and that's the, the Pfizer vaccine. Um, and recently, the Pfizer vaccine has received a full FDA approval for use、uh, in anyone 16 or above. For children who are 12 to 15, there's an emergency use authorization.、Um, so, so, essentially, what that means is if you're 12 or above, you can receive、uh, the Pfizer vaccine. So, one of the more common questions I get as a pediatric infectious disease doctor doing vaccine trials is when children under 12 will be eligible to receive a COVID vaccine. And we expect and hope that、uh, children will be eligible via an emergency use authorization to get the Pfizer vaccine by the end of 2021. Another important question is whether or not parental consent is needed for a child to receive a COVID vaccine.、Uh, and actually, those laws vary from state to state.、Um, here in North Carolina, Because the vaccine does have full FDA approval for 16 and up. If your child is 16、uh, or older,、uh, they do not need parental consent. However, children 12 to 15 who can only get the vaccine under an EUA、uh, or an emergency use authorization do require parental consent. So many parents want to know how to protect their children who are under 12 and too young to be vaccinated. Uh, I think the most important thing you can do is be vaccinated yourself. Because if you're vaccinated and keeping、uh, COVID outside of your house, that's going to keep your kids safe. The second most important thing you can do is make sure your children adhere to masking when they're out in the community or out at school、uh, and make sure that they're washing their hands. As the school year starts, you can imagine a lot, many parents are concerned about having groups of kids back together, particularly in indoor settings. So the first thing I want to say is. Yes, we can definitely send our children back to school.、Uh, how, do, how do I know that? There are a couple of different things. First of all,、uh, anyone who's 12 or up can be vaccinated, and, and the vaccine is the single most important way that we can protect ourselves and our children. And fortunately, for kids less than 12, we have a really good strategy as well, and that's masking. Kids do do better with COVID,、uh, they tend to not get as sick, they tend to not require hospitalization, and they tend to, to not die from COVID. That said, there have been more than 500 children who have succumbed to COVID. And、um, as a father, as a pediatrician, the problem is I can't look a given parent in the eye and say, you know, your kid is going to be that, the, one of those 500 or not. We're still learning about what the specific risk factors are、uh, that lead to severe disease in kids. And because we don't know for sure and we have a safe and effective vaccine, I do recommend COVID vaccine for, for all children. Um, because even if they don't get sick, they can bring COVID home and get other people at home sick. So,、uh, because of that, I have a strong recommendation and urge every parent out there to get your children vaccinated if they're above 12.